Hi, my name is Mead Rose. I'm an internet marketer. I work with Carol Dysart. In the middle of doing some of our other projects, she showed me about a travel club that she'd just become a part of. And I thought it was very impressive and that we ought to do a video about it and put it up on the internet just so that people get the right idea about the thing. Can you tell people what you do? Yeah, I'm a consultant in behavioral style and executive coaching. And I work with companies as big as the U.S. Navy and as small as mom and pop businesses. And I also work with families because communication is really important. Gotcha. So you have a lot of reason to travel. Um, in my experience, travel is a headache. I know uh, mom likes me to do her uh, booking of her airline flights. She'll give me a call and ask me to take care of it because I know my way around the menus. Um, I also uh, used to sell, uh, I used to be on a lead generation booth way back, you know, like 10 years ago, a lead generation booth for timeshares. And then I, I heard about uh, what a headache yeah. a timeshare can be. And um, so that's another piece. Uh, uh, can you tell people what other headaches might people experience in the industry? Well, there's a lot of headaches in travel. It's hard to book and know you've got what you want, except unless you're just doing a straight airline booking, that's not too hard. But as soon as you add in hotels and car rentals, it can get very confusing. So, you know, usually there's no one there to help you. You have to figure it out on your own. Gotcha. And uh, so a lot of people have challenges, you know, some people know their way around, but in my experience, most people have challenges, not the least of which is the moment you've booked is the moment you find out where there was a low affair. Um, you used to be, uh, you were born in the travel industry, weren't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, this is why travel's always been important. I, my dad was an airline executive, so we traveled for free on passes, space available, but space available was in first class mm -hmm. those days, and so I just, thought I was going to travel first class for free all my life until I turned 21 and got the rude awakening that I had to buy my own tickets now. I'm no longer a dependent. So, and, so you took up a few strategies yeah, to deal yeah. with that? First of all, I was too tall to be a stewardess. I forgot about that because I thought, well, I'll just fly for an airline. No, I was too tall. Then I took, uh, I was a teacher, so I found out I could take my students abroad and travel for free if I brought and got seven other people recruited. And that ended up to be a nightmare. I also took some singles groups on cruises and while it was fun, there was a lot of work seven months in advance to book and money in advance and yeah. Mm -hmm. So that was not the way I wanted to spend the rest of my life. And then you got a condo? Uh, no, you got a timeshare. I share. bought a timeshare, and I thought that was the way my family and I could travel together and have fun. But that was a mistake, too, because you had to book a year and a half in advance in order to get anything good. And the we years we weren't going to travel, I wanted to rent it out because the maintenance fees were so high. And that wasn't even successful because the weeks that were good to rent in San Diego, where our timeshare was, they were gone a year and a half in advance. So planning ahead was not my thing. And then, and it uh, didn't work. then you did a little stint as a travel agent. So then right? I saw that I could sign up as a travel agent with one of the new um, multi-level marketing travel organizations. And that sounded like good, I could, I could do that. But it was expensive. I had to pay every month for my website and I never made more commissions than what it was costing me to have my website. So that didn't answer my need either. So what's different about this? So what's different here is that you just, I bought a card, I bought a membership in a club of travel and it's a card that gives me a membership number and when I call and look, oh, I look online, I can book any play, I can look online to find the best rates, the best times, the best hotels or not the best. I don't have to shop because I call the number then and I say on this week, I want to go to this city, get me the best deal on this level of hotel and they do all the work for me. Okay, so long story short, you can actually reach a human being on the phone right. who can meet or beat 
anything else you find anywhere else on the internet. That's the key. Okay. And this club doesn't require any other obligation on my part. Gotcha. So, um, now, there are some trends happening. Uh, some of them are world trends, like I noticed the uh, globalization, like, uh, yeah, I'm sure you've, everyone's had the experience of uh, calling, hoping to get the warehouse and finding somebody in India answering their call who can look up their case on a database, but, you know, hello, my name is Jerry, how are you doing? <laughs> but it's evidence we're in a global economy. <laughs> right. And, and then I've, I'm, I've also noticed not only here uh, in, in this travel club plan, but uh, it's also clear with uh, things like buying clubs like uh, Costco, that um, instead of business models that accrue either toward the people at the very top or towards what I call superstars, like a lot of multi-level marketing, um, favors superstars. You're either a product buyer or a superstar and not everyone benefits and what's different about this is you don't have to be a superstar to actually right. get the financial benefits. Yeah, you don't have to build your own team right. to earn money. Right, uh, okay, so it's not personal recruitment that does right. it. Right, right. Okay, good. So the, the framework of this thing comes in three steps and as I understand it, there's the the hotel card level, there's the condo card level, and the cruise card level. Three levels. The three levels, and each level is organized into what they call a follow me two by three matrix. Right, that's it. I have okay. no idea what it meant, but that's what they call it. Okay, and it's, so basically what this thing works as a team, and you enter on the bottom row of this thing. Everyone does. Everyone does. Uh, and then the, when the bottom row gets filled by anyone, doesn't have to be you, can be the go-getter two levels above you that brings in eight friends all at once and then boom, you ascend to the next level, just like that. If you happen to bring a friend in too, well then... You earn a little commission. You earn a little commission, but that's not the point. The point right. is they want to bring in more members one way or another and some people are simply better at getting on the phone and sharing, and other people just say, hey, I want to travel, forget that other stuff. Uh, so, that's, uh, eventually you reach the top of this two by three follow me matrix, and you pop through to... The second level. The second level, which is With your sponsor, level. whoever brought you in, whoever you heard about this from, you stay with them. They don't leave you and go somewhere else to do their thing over and over. So it's unlike breakaways in yeah. in multi-level marketing. Right. You're actually staying with the same people. Right. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah. So the second level is condo, and that gives you the access to have a email that you can ask for the hot deal email list, and every week they'll send you a list of where you could get a condo for a hundred to two hundred dollars a week i thought i really like that it's a last minute thing and so right. you can go even if you don't have a family i would go and spend a week somewhere for a hundred dollars yeah. in a beautiful resort so there's a huge benefit for the condo plan in fact i plan to sell my condo because i am paying more in annual maintenance fees I could You're buy selling two, your timeshare. My timeshare. I don't like calling these. Uh, Thank condos you. are what this is. Yeah. Timeshares are what these other people right. do. This right. is a condo. So the condo <laughs> plan, I, I'm going to sell my timeshare so I can buy two more travel cards with the same amount of money that I'm spending on maintenance and not getting anything back. Gotcha. Okay. So... Uh, so, you, with the condo card, the thing that occurred to me about the condo card, I, I used to live in California, I know they're furloughing the state workers, and the state workers never get a chance to know when they're going to be furloughed, uh, and what can happen with this thing is they can go, you know what, I've got three weeks when I'm not going to be working, pick up and go, mm -hmm. boom, just like that. Yeah, it's great. And it, it's also true if let's say you have to get a medical procedure done and you find out that uh, 
there's one of the best doctors in the world is sitting right there in the Philippines and you can fly out and get it done for l airfare and everything less than you would if you paid for it at home. Right. So, okay, you ascend to the top of this thing, again, not by your own recruitment efforts necessarily. Right. Even but be though, Yeah, go ahead. Because so many people now are coming in at the bottom level, you earn even a bigger bonus. Everybody shares a bigger bonus when they move out of that level into the third level. And the third level is about cruises. So you have a cruise card. So when you're done, you have a hotel card, a condo card, and a cruise card. And you've now got travel handled around the world. And that comes from the bonuses that you earned. So you're not shelling out more money for the different levels. So it says if you're rewarded just for being a member. Right, just Although for being a member. if you're a go-getter, you earn more commissions Even along more. the way. Right. But okay. everyone earns the bonus. The second time around in that second level that you want to earn $5,000, the first time is fine. Everybody gets it eventually. And the second time, if you want to stay in that and kind of stay earning $5,000 every week or every month, then you can bring in two new people, either yourself, or you can just pay the money for two cards out of your commission and they have a pay it forward program. So they might have a list of people that say, I want a card when somebody will help me buy it. And then people pay you back, whatever. Oh, okay. So there's, there's a way for you to pay it forward so you don't have to recruit family, friends, and neighbors, or even. So they don't even necessarily have to pay out of pocket. Never out of pocket. You, you could have, you could, a, a couple of parents could gift this to their college kids and then by the time the kids were out of college, they'd already have popped out the top of the thing. That's right, and had plenty of money to do what they need to do and pay for college. No more government grants. <laughs> that, that sounds good. So what's the most common mistake people make when they're taking a look at this thing? I think the most common mistake is that it's that people talk about the money first. They they just make the mistake of trying to explain it's a relatively complex structure that is easy to understand when you can observe it a couple times. So, so they start talking about the compensation package first and what, without emphasizing the fact that it's a travel. The travel. And people's yeah. minds go to the old way of doing business by referral, right. which was called multi-level marketing. And this isn't that. Multi-level marketing is very different. This is direct sales right? and earning a bonus. And um, we're not going into the details of the compensation plan. There's another video. Um, we've got a link just below this video on the site where people can go to actually take a look. It's very well explained in terms of uh, how the structure works and when the bonuses come. So we're not gonna spend time with that. <clears throat> we just wanted to make it clear about the club. Now, uh, so once they're done watching this video, people can either give you a call yes. on the phone number posted below. Right. If they're into it, they can go and sign up immediately right on, on your sign up link. Yes. And if they want to know more, we've also provided the link to the, what I think is the best explanation video for this. Uh, if you go to that one, it'll take you to a page which looks almost exactly like the sign-up area, but you scroll down and then you see the video that explains the whole thing. It's, you'll probably need to watch that like two or three times to really get your idea around it because it's not, it's not like typical, typical stuff. That's so, it. That's yeah. it. And call me if you have any question about getting signed up or during the sign-up process. I'm there to help you if you want it. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye.